I mean, it looks perfect. It smells perfect. I mean, that doesn't mean that I could actually, you know, use it in 2021, right? Like, uh, I, I couldn't. I shouldn't. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And over the years, as I became a bit more serious about my Ghostbusters collecting, I kind of made a bit of a bucket list of items that I needed to track down and actually add into the collection. Now, some of these items, they're a bit weird, like, you know, boxes of Ghostbusters cereal, to the highly rare and thought after real Ghostbusters Ectoglow figure set. And I just picked these Ectoglow figures up last year, probably my biggest and best purchase of 2020. But now we are in 2021, which means it's a brand new year to add more Ghostbuster collectibles to the collection, and also a brand new year to have a, a lot of buyer's remorse because I, I may have a little bit of buyer's remorse. I mean, you guys clicked on the video, you can see the title, you know what we're talking about here today. I bought a tube of real Ghostbusters Slimer bubblegum toothpaste. Now, I remember using this toothpaste so much as a kid. I have so many fond memories of it, but maybe you don't. Maybe you're a little younger than I am. So if so, let's get you up to speed and let's actually run the old uh, Real Ghostbusters Slimer toothpaste commercial. Ghostbusters swoosh! Yeah! I know something scary. Cavities. Time to brush. Aw, oh, Mom! Hey! Mom got a Slimer toothpaste! Ooh! It's, it's Slimer! First play Cavity Buster! Toothbrush Ray! Check the gun! Slimer toothpaste Ray! Check the gun! Ready? Let's brush! No ghosts in there, Mom! See, everything was better in the 80s. Okay. Back to this tube of Slimer toothpaste here, the real Ghostbusters Slimer toothpaste. I've had my eye on tubes on like eBay and third-party sell sites and like Instagram sellers for the past couple years, but I've always seen them for like 200 bucks, 300 bucks or so. This one I snagged for $111.58 US, which at the time felt like a steal. But now that I'm saying it out loud to you guys, I, I just realized I spent over $100 on what, a 35-year-old tube of toothpaste. <sighs> so um, as I contemplate all of my life's decisions, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the packaging. The tube comes in this blue box here. Of course, the big highlight of the box here is that image of Slimer. Of course, we've also got his name branding there with bubblegum gel written underneath it. And on the left-hand side here, we've got the real Ghostbusters logo as well. I want to point this out. It says no sugar added. No sugar added. That's a selling point on a tube of toothpaste. The 80s were a different, different time. Now let's go ahead and crack this open here. And oh, so many childhood memories just flooding back to me now that I have this in hand. The actual packaging on the tube here is pretty similar to what we saw in the box. We got the real Ghostbusters branding, got the Slimer name, fluoride toothpaste, and bubble gum gel written down at the bottom. And you know what? That's something we don't really talk about. There's quite the relationship between Ghostbusters and bubble gum. I mean, bubble gum came in those Ghostbusters 2 trading card packs back in the day. Of course, we got the uh, bubble gum gel Slimer toothpaste. Heck, I remember like back when Ghostbusters 2 came out, there was like the tie-in at Hardee's and they had like Ghostbusters Sundays. And even the flavoring on that was bubble gum as well. Speaking of bubble gum, I'm actually kind of curious if it still smells like bubble gum. I mean, this has been about 35 years here, and I'm not even too sure what even happens to toothpaste after 35 years. So let's go ahead and uh, screw the cap off here and take a look. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of pressure here, and oh, oh my goodness, guys, it's it actually looks like it has not changed at all in all of these years. I cannot believe that this toothpaste is so well preserved in here like i thought maybe it would have turned brown or something by now but i mean it looks perfect and it it smells perfect like it smells just like i remember back in like 1988 when i'd wake up i'd brush my teeth then i'd run down the stairs on a saturday morning and watch the real ghostbusters i mean it looks perfect it smells perfect i mean that doesn't mean that i could actually you know use it in 2021 right like uh I, I couldn't. I shouldn't. You know what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna brush my teeth with this. Let's, let's give it a try right now. 
All right, so report it out here and it still looks perfect. Once again, like nothing has changed after all of these years. All right, so we know it looks the same. We know it smells the same. Does it taste the same? Let's give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so I got a lot to unpack and a little bit to digest because I, I may have swallowed a little bit of that, uh, that toothpaste there. But uh, let's go over. Looks the same, smells the same, and actually tastes the same. For the two minutes when I was brushing my teeth, I was in paradise. Once again, I was taken back to the 80s and I was getting ready for Saturday morning cartoons. It was great. When that changed though was when I actually spit out uh, the toothpaste and I had to rinse my mouth because it then felt like my entire mouth was just encased with chalk. Now I do not recall chalk as part of the original profile, once again, of that real Ghostbusters Slimer toothpaste. Uh, I recall bubble gum. Uh, but, but definitely not, not chalk. Oh, also, late breaking update, uh, my tongue is starting to go numb, uh, and also my stomach is starting to turn. Uh, legit, not, not BSing you whatsoever. I'm, I'm not worried, but I'm, I'm a little concerned. A little concerned. So I think it's safe to say that I will not be re-adding Real Ghostbusters Slimer Fluoride Toothpaste Bubble Gum Gel back into my, um, my daily routine. Instead, it's gonna find a nice home behind me here in the old Ghostbusters News collection. So guys, that does it for today's episode. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you would like to have out Ghostbusters News, we do have a Patreon page uh, that can be found right down below in the description. And I will see everybody right back here next time as I go and uh, find some Pepto-Bismol or something because uh, my my stomach is honestly a wreck. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. <sighs>